torches fall into and around the pit and no ignition occurs. The final phase of the cactus test is to determine what happens when a massive ammonia spill is attacked with water. Sampling devices have been recharged and the fire hoses with combination fog and straight stream nozzles are played into the pit. Addition of the water causes a boiling reaction. The evaporation rate increases immediately, as evidenced by the intense, heavy vapor clouds. Observers upwind report that they feel heat. Near the top of the vapor cloud, a flame is now visible. One of the torches on the downwind side of the pit had not burned off. Ammonia odor is reported 250 feet downwind. The flame is apparently consuming only part of the released vapor. Though the pool is reacting strongly to the water streams and the vapor is burning, the hose men are able to work close to the pit with no protective equipment. Engineers at Cactus have observed these dense vapor clouds only while adding water to the pit of ammonia. The flame is pale orange. It does not extend far downwind, perhaps 30 feet, nor does it propagate back over the pit. As the volume of water applied is varied, the size of the flame changes. When more water is added, the flame burns more intensely. Then as the streams are reduced, the flame dies back. It is not self-sustaining. The cactus tests confirm that it is difficult to ignite ammonia. Only after stimulation by adding water did the vapor concentration become sufficiently high to support combustion. 